Yeah, we're the ones from TikTok. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, this is our first traveling vlog. We just got off the train in Ottawa. We got five hours before flying to Calgary. The purpose of this road trip is to follow the Montreal Canadiens on their Western Canada road trip by going to Calgary, Edmonton, and then finishing it off in Vancouver. So right now we're trying to find Justin Trudeau. We want to tell him to bring back the Stanley Cup in Canada. Still looking for Justin? No, he's not there, man. This is pretty cool. It's every members of the House of Commons. Are you gonna be up here one day or? My name? Maybe. Look, let me let me go to college. I'll maybe be up there. It didn't let us film, but we're we're looking everywhere, guys. We want the Stanley Cup back in Canada. Any teams except the Leafs. Except the Leafs. I like your teams except the Leafs. We're not gonna talk about the last time I came here. Yeah, what, what happened last time you were here? Bang! Pluto, elle a juste eu des petits scratch. Bruh. Oh, f not yet. Let's try not get hit by a car again. <laughs> All right, boys, so we're heading to the Uber at the airport. We're going to replicate the senders going to a Uber. I don't know if you remember that video that happened a couple of years ago. Our only coach in NHL history to have the worst power play. So I, I could trash talk and you. You don't get this out on social media, eh? So I could trash talk right now. I'm fucking happy to be in the minors. Like, our coach a idiot, man. Bro, they, they, he made the guy skate and everything. Like, that guy used to be on TV a couple years ago and he got fired and now he's coaching, bro. Yeah, you know, I gotta put this on Twitter. Uh, do what, put what? What, what? What I'm trash talking about. No. No, no. So we weren't waked up. We, we went out on the last call. I don't like taking off. I, I really don't like taking off. But like, my dream job is to be a, a fighter pilot. So let's see. But my dream job would be also to be a TikTok star. So I'm doing the both of them right now. We're taking off. Stop all. Both the camp guy and I were tired as f It's been a long day of traveling. Both to this and I were editing, okay? And we're just here. Last call for the Calgary flight. Boarding now. Last call. We, just, we look at each other, we just picked up our computers, started running to the gate, and like there was like a line at the gate and stuff. So we're just like e editing, standing up in line. Man, that was kind of funny. That was a funny clip. My legs are tired. The lady next to me like probably got up 15 times to go pee, but we're prepared for a big day tomorrow. We're looking forward to that. Alright guys, so this is day two of the West Canada road trip. So this morning what we did, we cooked questions for the boys in Calgary and also like we have a good breakfast. That breakfast at the hotel. So we got two posters right now. We're gonna mess around with some uh, Calgary Flames fan. We got the, I'm looking for Tate McRae. Cause to be honest, I'm looking for her. It's been what, two days that we're here? Now suddenly your eyes can fall in back. Got that second poster that says Tate McRae is bigger than your franchise. Take a look at that. Da -da -da. <laughs> do you hate the flames? I hate the flames? Yeah, yeah, I do too. I hate the flames. Let's go Tate McRae. F NPC reaction, boys. If I knew, I wouldn't tell you. I'd go myself. <laughs> you go yourself. I believe in you, man. You believe? I do you think I'm, uh, I can find her? I, I believe but in like, you. Tate McRae, please. How do you like DM you, Sending well, good nation. Luck. F the flames. Sh franchise. Guys, where can we find Tate McRae? F the flames. I'm sorry, sir. Tate McRae is bigger than your franchise. Honestly, thank God Tate McRae got out of Calgary because she's the only good thing that came out of Calgary. Miss, I'm looking for Tate McRae. You don't, you don't know who's Tate McRae? No. She's like the f most famous singer out of Calgary. She, she, she sings greedy. She's hot too. What's, what's up, boys? From Montreal? From Montreal, yeah. Oh, yeah, from Montreal. No, you're from Montreal. Oh, yeah, you're from Montreal. Oh, yeah, you're from Montreal. This is where we're gambling all our money. In Calgary, we had to leave our bags at the casino and just walking around the, the arena, you can just see that it's pretty old. We went down for the warm up, apparently, you can't bag on the glass. Your seats were pretty good. Apparently, there's some seats at the Saddle Dome that you can't see the game, but us, uh, we were seeing everything. God, you wish I had that stash. So amazing. How do you grow that shit? Let's go, Flames! People are going out. There's seven minutes to get left to the game. What the f? What the f is that, Calgary? I'm leaving. I'm f leaving! Garfield's on fire! Flames defense is terrified! He's a king of the game! He's a king of the game!
Can you shine the forehead of Cole Caulfield? You sure? Yes. <laughs> Caulfield on fire. Yes. Let's go. So what's happening right now? Uh, so, you know, I was in the circle, right? And I was like, where's Tay McCray? That's why I'm here for. I'm here for Tay McCray. <laughs> Where the f is she? And I was like, I'll drop a fat stack to get a Habs jersey that says McCray on the back. And, and I so did it. You, you did? I have the receipt. Wait, wait, no. Dane McCray, come do a show at the Bell Center. I'll be here. You'll I'll be there. Show up. You'll I don't show even up. live in Montreal. I'll fly out and I'll go. I'll spend a fat rack on that as well. I don't give a fuck. Là, on s'en va, on s'en va au parking lot des planes. Yo, can get past ici encore. Mackenzie, I'm from Montreal. How are you, man? Could you sign my mistake, please? You want Ubi signature, no? Yeah, I want Ubi. Mackenzie, I got offered 40 bucks and two beers to trade you in fantasy hockey. Should I do it, or you gotta keep on scoring? Two beers. Two beers and 40 bucks. Make it. Make it eight bears and do the trick. No, but I think you're gonna score more goals, man. Uh, I, I want to score more. I'm a little dry right now. I'll okay. pick it up. <laughs> if he offers eight, take it. If okay. Five, Perfect. Yeah. That's See it. Mike, you sign my music, please. Yeah. We're from Montreal. You yeah. play with Sean Farrell at the US in the USHL. Yeah. Is there something that we need to know about him? Uh, a fun fact. <laughs> he's he's probably my best friend. Honestly. Is your best friend? Um, oh. I don't have like any like crazy thing I could tell you, but um, when he when he's up, you'll see how great of a player he is. What smartest player I've ever played with. Laval is doing amazing. He's great. He's an unbelievable player. So I do said, awesome. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Michael, we're from Montreal. We're from the Uberto land. This is my first ever flame jersey. I got it when I was nine. Nice. Still fits. That looks good. <laughs> you look at the player. Johnny, eh? Alright, right, guys, so I'm on my new horse. His name is Blasty. He's a fing beauty. We're down in Calgary. The Habs lost 5 2 against the Flames. Next city, Edmonton. Let's go, baby. I don't want to speak French in French because I don't want to speak French. Who is not good at conducting? All right, guys, so our Uber driver almost crashed the car three times, but we made it to the West Edmonton Mall. Let's go check it out. Go faster, Carlos. Smooth up a red. That was, that was Charles Leclerc right here. Max Verstappen. Oh, no, nah, that was like Lance Stroll. Big crash on board with Lance Stroll. We're going to buy some Oilers jersey to not get up by George Lorac. And uh, also, let's go support one of our Quebec boys, Vinny Dernet. All right, sir. Do you have Vincent Dernet jerseys? I've never heard of that one. Can we cut some jerseys, Oilers jersey? Yeah. If you're wondering what we're those types, custom Vinny Dernet types, it's because we ordered them and we just received them like an hour ago. The goat, the goat. Great boys, it's six in the morning and uh, we have to go to Orler's morning skate. It is said is still in sleeping. So yeah, going to the game tonight. Hopefully we'll have a blast. This is one of the most beautiful arena I've ever visited, man. It's amazing. Right. Practice just about to finish. Might be meeting someone special later. This is the third biggest jungle show in the world. It's not in the world, in North America, sorry. Alright, premièrement, Vincent, merci beaucoup d'accueillir des petits gars de chez nous ici à Edmonton. C'est incroyable. Merci à vous autres. C'est des beaux jerseys, vous avez. C'est papier jersey. On a fait un deal avec Georges Larac aussi. Il voulait qu'on cheer pour les Oilers. On a un petit cadeau pour toi. Un beau chandail d'Arnais. Salut. HF TV. On est allé au West Edmonton Mall. On a vu les manèges, là. Ouais. Comment tu fais pour en profiter des manèges avec ta grandeur? J'en profite pas, j'aime pas ces manèges. T'en profites? J'aime pas ces manèges. T'as-tu même essayé de rentrer dedans? Euh, avec ma nièce, ouais. Ma nièce de 4 ans. Alors, on a fait le, le petit train. Je pense que j'ai une vidéo en plus. J'ai les genoux, j'ai les genoux <rire> même. Puis on faisait le, le, le petit train. Puis euh, quand, quand elle dit quelque chose, j'ai pas grand grand choix. Fait que je l'ai fait avec elle. <rire> C'est nice, ça. Ouais. Allez, merci beaucoup. Ouais. Hein. Yes, sir. At the house practice right now, guess who's back on the ice? Kirby Doc, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 
Regardez, comment ça va? Ça va super bien. Hey, il euh, y a un petit gars, euh, il est back sur la glace, check ça. Ben voyons donc! Ben voyons donc! C'est pas le numéro 67! Number! C'est... <laughs> Let's go, Daddy. Yes, sir. I rest the dawn. Let's end why I'm there. At the Oilers game, we're lucky enough to get some first row seats for the warm up. Seeing the best player in the world shooting, passing, and skating in front of me was just so electrifying. After it was that crazy guy hyping up all the fans in the building. His dance were amazing. He was taking off t shirts. That guy could do it all. Oilers, they went 3-2 against one of the worst teams in the league, Montreal Canadiens. How do you feel right now? I'll be honest with you guys, I don't keep up with hockey like that, but that was the f***ing best game I've Life. If I wasn't an Oilers fan, I, I think I would convert to have so you guys have amazing tradition. How oh, can we convert you right now? You, you can't. I, I love everything you guys do. I, I love the Habs tradition, the, the passion you guys have. It's unlike anything else in the NHL. I think we have the two best fan bases in the, in the entire I agree league. with that statement. So, so, we're here in our hotel. It's really a dead city, man. But no, we, uh, Roger's place was... Obviously, it was a lot Beautiful. Yeah, it, obviously, it was a lot better than uh, the Saddle Dome. <laughs> but yeah, what what shook me when I when I entered was the, like the size of the actual screen. Uh, so yeah, let's go for the next one. Vancouver, we're coming. And uh, yeah, what what should we do in Vancouver? Yeah, it's Vancouver. I feel like it's a franchise that we we have a lot of sharp material yeah Vancouver fans we're coming for y'all So we're at the Kisten Saint Saint Pierre Stadium, and we're also at the Rogers Arena. Honestly, a little disappointed. Like it's surrounded by highways. There's a highway right there. There's a highway right there. Look down there. Fucking, there's a fucking Costco down there. I think Arbor Jack is going there after the game. Maybe he's working a shift down there. It's been a it's been a rough trip so far. I don't really care about those two losses because we need a better pick. But losing Joshua on the road when he's the guy, that second line guy that we need is bad. We're at the port of Vancouver. It's a nice place, resembles a lot of the old port of Montreal, but this is like probably three times bigger. We've been in this city for what four hours? We just heard two gunshots in the last 30 seconds. We're getting the fuck out after the game. I'm telling you. Alright, so we're leaving this morning to go meet Habs legend Casey the Smith. Uh, we got a couple posters. Let's try it like it's 2011. Alright, so let's call it Uber right now. We can't walk in crack Hoover. It's a long way to go, it's kind of a weird place. Waiting for Casey to submit. If you're HFT lovers, you probably know this jersey. When I wore that jersey, I must have been five, six years old. <laughs> bro. You were a fat kid, man. Because this fits me. This fits me. Well, maybe you're just small, hit the gym. We were about to give up to meet Casey to submit. We were able to meet a couple of good players. Did Casey to submit leave? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're the ones from TikTok. <laughs> What's your name? Sorry? Oh shit, nice to meet you boys. Yeah, we're the one. We did a whole Western road trip. Hey, we'll cheer for you guys tonight. No way, let's go. Tyler, can we get a picture? We're the biggest Casey the Smith fans. Thanks a lot, man. Good luck. Can we, can we get a picture? Thanks a lot, G. We're from Montreal. Good luck, man. Some insiders told us Casey the Smith left the arena a couple hours ago, so we wasted two hours of our time. This is probably the number one way to get killed down in Vancouver. Oh man, even in Montreal. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. They almost burned down their city right there. Like, there's Montreal crazy, then there's Canucks crazy. This is like worse than losing a challenge at fantasy football. I'm gonna kill over here. 
This is where shit went down. Imagine almost burning your city right here. Right here. J'ai vraiment l'air d'un épais en ce moment, mais c'est correct. Les épais. Tanner, do you sign my dismissed jersey, please? I guess we're trading for each other. There you go. Thank you. We're going to our last game of the trip. Uh, Vancouver Canucks game. Would you for this game to be a nice one? HFTV, we're here with the man, the myth, the legend, Manny Award today. Finally, I finally get to be on this amazing platform. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> you don't know Manny, he's the one who dropped a hundred bucks in her YouTube life. He's one of her biggest super fans. We got a gift for you. Yeah. This is the real one. Oh man. 69, is it 69? 4-1 Habs. 4-1 Habs. We're done yet with Casey Smith. We brought his Habs jersey at the warm up and he actually noticed it for a second time. But the Canucks were kind enough to give us a Smith signed t shirt. Let's go! I lost my bet. TC to Smith didn't do a shot. And I said Habs 4 1. It looks like the Canucks took it 4 1, so it's kind of my fault. We got a little song for you tonight. I'm blind! I'm deaf! I wanna be a rep! Do you wanna admit the refs were blind tonight? Yeah, they were pretty bad. You know, honestly, I, I think they should have called it 50 50. I honestly think that the refs need to do a better job because they're a little bit biased towards some certain teams and they should really call it equal. Thanks a lot for making the Habs lose. No worries. Fuck the refs. Fuck the refs. At the end of the day, this road trip was an 18 and 20 year old going around West Canada with a camera and a mini stick with a mic on it. But coming in a completely different city than Montreal and getting recognized, people knowing the chants, blasting pictures, signatures, we never thought this would happen. The only reason we made that trip is because of you guys. Thanks a lot for watching the videos and we'll see you guys next episode.